Alright guys, login into our Windows server and uh, wait for a server manager to load up. After that, he head over to manage, add roles and futures. Next. Uh, role based, next. We're gonna keep this default. Choose your server. Select Active Directory Certificate Services. Add Futures. Next. We're gonna keep the default. Next here. Make sure the certification authority is checked. You can even check to restart the destination server automatically if needed. Wait for installation. When it's done, clip, click on the flag, click on configure active directory, go next, we're going to check the certification authority, next, keep it default enterprise here, root, create new key, I'm gonna leave it default as it is, here as well. I'm gonna set 99 years here for the certificate to be valid. Next here and config. Now oh, it's done. You can now use secure LDAP request against the server. Head over to your gray log and log in with your administrator account. Head over to system authentication and we are going to create new authentication service. I have one old from testing before, so I'm gonna create a new service. I'm gonna choose the drop new new Active Directory service. We are going to type the IP address of the domain controller of the Windows server. Let's check it up in command. CMD and IP config. All right, copy that IP address. Head over to Grailer again and paste the IP address. We are going to try first on secure. Use. We are going first to create a service account that's gonna be used in our LDAP requests. So head over to your Active Directory and uh, open Active Directory users on computers. On the drop menu, go down to users and create new user. I'm gonna give the name service LDAP and a logon name SBC LDAP. Click next, set password and make sure to check that password never expires. You can also check user cannot change the password if necessary. And finish. Now that username or that service account is going to be used on every Active Directory LDAP uh, connection we want to create. Head over back to Greylock and use that account. Uh, and I think I'm. Um, Think, yeah, I'm gonna go back to Windows Server, check the logon name on the service account. It's service LDAP. So, back to users, let's find that service LDAP account. It's, yeah, exactly, SVS LDAP. So, that's the logon name. So, we're gonna use LDAP. Set the password that I have typed in before. Let's try the connection. Perfectly. Let's let's now try the secure connection. Works as well. If you get an error, just please restart your Windows server, and it should be working good. Next, we're gonna synchronize the users. Default roles means when a user logs in, he will be granted this default role. I'm gonna choose admin in this case. Search base, we have to type where our users are based. 
which they are under users on the main gray log dot local in this case everything else is going to be uh, default this is for our enterprise version if you want to group with groups don't forget to activate this service authentication now if we log out and if we go back to our windows server we should be able to create a user just a test user so just give it a name whatever you want log on name gonna set a password I will remove the user doesn't matter let's change the password and never expires now let's try to log in with this account on, on the gray log interface because it should be syncing between active directories all right and it works perfectly So we have a secure connection between Greylog and Windows Server Active Directory. I'm going to show you with some other accounts here as well. Uh, let's say uh, now this is the service account that's that's making sure that we are getting the access. Let's try with test free actually. And it works. Okay, my test account got the reader uh, role because I have been trying out uh, this service before. So I'm gonna have to remove this account so it resyncs again. I have to log in with my admin account and remove it. On the next logon, it should be admin. So test free down there. Just more action. Delete. Okay. Sign out. Log out. Now I'm going to try test free again and we should be granted admin. Perfectly. We now have admin. All right. Now that's it.